Welcome to another edition of my video blog. This week we're going to talk about warming up the Chi Running Way. So one thing I'm actually noticing as I'm getting older, no laughing here, I actually need to warm up if I, ha if I want to do anything of significance or with any um, intensity to it. So it's something that I didn't really have to do when I was, when I was younger, when I was especially in my early 20s. I could get out of a car, run a hard 5K, get back in the car and go home. There, I, this point really kind of came home recently when I started doing some track workouts. A, I've read somewhere that the body needs 18 minutes uh, of exercise in order to warm up to its core. And uh, that's something that actually I've been trying to do in most of my workouts to actually get, you know, 15 to 20 minutes of a nice, easy warm up to get, to get started. This all goes back to the Chi running philosophy of gradual progress. And if you actually, if you're running especially a longer race, the Chi running way, you'll see that you'll actually start off a little slower and as your body warms up, without doing anything more, you're actually going to pick up the pace a little bit just by letting your body warm up and, and get with that kind of rhythm. And the same can be said for cooling down. You don't want to just, you know, stop a, a hard workout dead, you know, you don't want to stop dead cold and then go inside or or you know get into a car so you really want to kind of cool down and and really bring down bring that intensity back down at a gradual pace so just keep that in mind when you're out for a run on the weekend or you're out racing if you're you know you've come to a abrupt stop just try to go for another for a little victory lap and say hi to all the other competitors I'm sure they'll appreciate it and you'll do your body some good as well so until next time take care have a great day